The State Department, under Obama and Biden, believed that Joe Biden was engaging in a conflict of interest. Secondly, the State Department detected a $7 million bribe being paid by Burisma, the company hiring Hunter Biden in Ukraine, while Hunter Biden sat on its board. They reported it to the FBI. That sounds like wrongdoing. Uh, <laughs> third, there was a pressure campaign inside the Obama State Department and in the White House invoking Hunter Biden's name and trying to pressure the U.S. government to make the Burisma corruption allegations go away before the 2016 election ended. And then finally, it wasn't just the State Department worried about Hunter Biden. The Treasury Department flagged several transactions, foreign money flowing into uh, companies connected to Hunter Biden as suspicious transactions, usually the first step in what might launch a money laundering investigation. Those are four things that will almost certainly be in the report tomorrow. Uh, and that sounds a lot different than that storyline the Democrats gave us back last fall. Yeah. And by the way, all the people who um, for three and a half years told us about Don Jr.'s meeting at Trump Tower and told us about uh, nothing but Russia, 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 three and a half years of everything Russia. Every 10 minutes it was, we found a new email, we got a new phone call, this is going to get them, that's going to get them, this is going to get them. Those people today are silent. Well, some of them are asking for a probe of the people who are cooperating with the investigation it's unbelievable the news media today is silent on hunter biden for the most part yeah it has not really hit any news cycle that i have uh, seen and so the question comes down to before we get to john solomon's report and just the news the question comes down to now this the president obviously um needs to turn to joe biden in minute one of the debate next Tuesday night, which we'll be watching here with you on Live from Studio 6B, and he needs to turn to him and ask him about it because Chris Wallace will not ask him about it. Chris Wallace will not ask him about China. You know how I know? Because Chris Wallace has already told us because he put out his debate points and, and topics. Nothing about China. Are you serious? How is that possible? <laughs> Nothing about foreign policy. How is that possible? <laughs> You know with what, what the, the president's doing overseas right now, with Israel, with the UAE, with all these deals, nothing about foreign policy, nothing about China. 